Shout every out, question. Shout out T-Pain, man. Nah, that nigga is iconic. The GOAT. Bro, niggas don't give T-Pain enough credit. Oh, God. He, like, he did. Bro, bro. what? He did. Zap and Roger, like, kind of introduced auto tune. Like, yeah, yeah. But T Pain, he, he took, took that, that shit to a He revolutionized it yes. for our generation for shit show. And, like, bro, he don't even need that shit. Like, nah, you yeah, he already, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's already a great vocalist. Like, this nigga's amazing. T Pain is, he's one of them ones. Actually, and, hey, nah, he, he's, he's one of his own. Yeah. Not even one of them ones. And, too, in the early 2000s, like, bro. T Pain was on everybody's shit. Yeah, like, dominating. DJ bro. Khaled used that nigga. If you wanted to like, make it was a song, tomorrow, if bro. If you wanted some shit on the radio, you had to get T Pain. Yes. On. He was like the Godfather of the radio. Yeah, time. or like Usher. It was either Usher or T Pain, bro. T- yeah, Chris or Chris Brown, Brown or Lil Brown, Wayne. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, can't Chris forget Brown, about Dwayne yeah. Carter. But even then, though, like T Pain was like, bro, like. He was doing so many other shit. Like he was make, he was writing the songs. Mm-hmm. He was making some beats and shit. Like, mm-hmm. you know, another nigga that's like kind of, kind of was the same. Ludacris. Ludacris, yeah, behind like, the scenes, he was real behind the scenes. But like, he was very vital to a song. Like, when you had him on a feature, it was yeah. like, okay, yeah, hey, niggas gonna remember now. that song because Ludacris was on it. Yeah, I feel that. That's real shit. I feel that. Luda. Shout out music, man. I Oh, oh shit! Damn. <laughs> well, fuck the intro. Fuck the fucking intro, bro. We welcome here, back man. to <laughs> welcome back to Botox. It's the conversation that feels the culture and not the face. I am your host, Chloe, formerly known as Veal, and today I have a very special guest. We already been chopping it up. <laughs> yeah. My brother, Airborne Bishop. Everybody clap for Bishop. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. A yeah, phenomenal yeah. artist. So. Bishop, if people don't know who you are, let them know who you are and where you from. Hey, man. Yeah, my name is Airborne Bishop. I'm a artist, vocalist, songwriter. Um, grew up here in Greenville, South Carolina. Came out here to Charlotte. I'm popping my shit now, man. Hey, man. Yeah. I love that. I love that. This nigga said he grew up here, which is true, but yeah. this nigga was born in Germany, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, that, that is If so you know, crazy you know, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my uh, I grew up in a, like a military family, so yeah. like, you I don't know, just just being a like just being about like it, it was. I was born in Germany, and then like just growing up, we just moved around a bunch. So it's just like Do you home have is a everywhere. Fond memory like in Germany and some shit. Hell yeah, bro! Like, like just being a kid, bro! Like just fucking riding my bike around Germany, like doing <laughs> weird German shit for real. Like for real? it's just a different world for real. I, I couldn't even I like. Like, yeah, man. Shit, yeah. shit's different out there. They got like, this is different. I heard they ketchup weird. Ketchup? They got like a curry based ketchup. Yeah. Somewhere. It's like more of, it's not as sweet. Okay. You know, I guess. Actually, no, nah, I guess it is sweeter. It's just like a, it's, it's a different type of ketchup. Yeah. If you're not ready for it, then you're not going. I don't fuck with the ketchup in Germany. Ah, <laughs> all right, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to get to your latest single. Turn up. How about a cut? How about a cut? With Beast Boy Slime, I, right, bro. Yeah. Immediately when I heard that fucking song, I was just like, yo, yo, how about a mm. cut? You fucking with it? Yes. And then you said, what you say about the bitch being a dead rider? Bro, it's the first verse. It's the first verse when you come yeah. in. Yeah. Man, I just, uh, bro, it's it's freestyle vibes, man. Shout bro. out my boy Beast Boy Slime. Amazing. We really just hopped in the studio and recorded that, like, with the last. 15, 20 minutes of our session. Came up here to Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Tree Sap, we was recording like a couple of tracks from his uh, his uh, project, Lycan. I was getting some singles done that I was trying to release for the summer. And okay. We just hopped on that shit and, and the chemistry was there, man. So, yeah. It's amazing, though. It's amazing, bro. Like, I, as a single, I feel like that was a great way to like, because you, you've been kind of like quiet throughout last year for like sure. you'll drop a little bit here and then you'll pull back for sure so for sure. i like that as a single to come back out and it's like yeah nigga stop playing with me like yeah. <laughs> i really turn up on you but like you know nah, like, yeah, i don't I mean, give you too much yeah I, I really i really have been selective with my releases recently and uh the past 2023 like mm-hmm. I, I i think that was actually the only single that i was going to release that year uh, i just spent the most of the year recording finding my sound and and just building like a a vault, you know, yeah. to to really like have a consistent base of songs to feed my fans. So, in these okay. next couple of weeks, y'all really gonna see something crazy, man. Y'all gonna see something crazy. Okay. New stuff from me, new stuff from the gang. 
It's gonna be great. Beautiful. So let's get into your latest album that you put out, your yeah. latest project, uh, Hedonism. Yeah. Can you just like give us a just a quick synopsis or a summary of what hedonism is and why did you choose the meaning for your project? Oh, uh, hedonism is just like it's the it comes from the word like the hedonist. It's like a person who is very indulgent and like they're very like head first and like on their craft. And that's that was just like the mind state that I was in when I was currently making that project. Um, I had just moved out here to Charlotte and I was just uh, head first into the music. I, I didn't really, I was, I didn't really care about what anybody was was trying to do. I was trying to say like every day was just like I wake up, I find a beat, I go to the studio, and I'm just like that was my life. So I decided like I made it a religion, you know, like it was kind of like so you live by my process, yeah, my yeah. practice. So that. It was the only ring I could think of to name the project for real. So why did you come out with it on Valentine's Day? Because I heard from a little birdie that's close in the circle said that it was supposed to come out months before. Was that like intentional? Nah, yeah, that shit was definitely not planned to come out on Valentine's Day. Yeah, it was like uh, the original release date was December eighth, if you okay. believe it or not, like a couple months okay. before then. But I just United Master they was holding it out for whatever reason. I had all the verifications i had bought all the beats and whatnot but when they had finally posted it just so happened to be valentine's day and mm. you know everybody was rocking with it so shit kind of like, worked out huh? yeah it worked out yeah i like that i like that type shit. all right so uh what would you say your favorite uh song is off of the project oh yeah we call them a little controversy every time i ask the artist this they like oh I don't want to say it because that's my man. Thing. It's crazy. But like, it's like it, I feel like it's been like a little bit of time since I had released the album, so like I feel like uh, Jesus Christ, it's gonna sound weird, but I'm trying to think what songs are even on that album. Yeah, okay, okay, now we got all right. It's definitely it's definitely got to be right or wrong mm -hmm. or the other side with my with my with my twin iceberg, iceberg. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was always a good i was track. hoping you was gonna say that yeah. bro everybody love that song i love that song <laughs> yeah it was like the first one to be done on the album yeah. same with the uh album i got now like it always ends up being the song i have with iceberg was would be the first song i have from the album yeah do you like like since that is your twin brother do you like the friendly competition or is it like oh i gotta kill this nigga like <laughs> on every song because yeah. i remember us having a conversation he was like your brother is like a whole different lane of yeah creativity. yeah it's like, never i can, you can't you, you really just can't compete with iceberg yeah. he, he like he's got his own timing for real like it, it's not it's like on a different dimension you know like oh you'll go to the other room and like he'll have only his ad libs done for the track and then like you'll roll up and then he'll just put in like a verse and just puzzle piece it together in like a way that you you, you would have never even seen it happen, you know? So it's just like, I just go in, I do my thing and he goes in and spits his verse. Who comes up I'm with the dead. verse first? Is usually him or you? Or is like, he come up with the hook or y'all just, y'all just go in and be like, here. I'm, I'm more of an artist that's like based in structure and whatnot. Okay. So like, I'll probably just like, I'll lay down a hook and then, yeah, or... I don't know. I'll probably lay down a, a verse, verse or a hook, and then Iceberg will come through, and then you know, just finish it for magic. real. Like just slide in perfectly. That's, that's magic. That's yeah. magic. Shout so out Iceberg, man. shout out Iceberg, wavy bro. No, for real. Like <laughs> you've been on the ground for a long time, brother. And but, just let you know, like bro, I see the progression. You and your brother, bro. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all. So also another favorite song that I have is Outside. Oh, you, you forgot this mention outside. Outside, yeah, that's a classic. That's a classic, bro. I definitely a showstopper. Shout bro. out LA Kenzie, yeah. Shout out LA Kenzie, bro. Shout out y'all too. First time I saw that shit, bro. We was actually here in Charlotte, and like the crowd was going bananas, yeah, like man. music, no music outside. Yeah, they don't really be outside. They don't. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, shit, like uh, it's just another cut from the hedonism. Mm -hmm. uh, I really. I really want to give my shouts out to Kenzie for hopping on that bitch, man. Sure. Like, and shout out to producers for making that shit happen, bro. Like, it was another day. Went straight to the studio and like, don't know what you're gonna say, but you know what you feel. Like, so it's just like it just comes naturally to you. But that's how you know you're destined for this shit. I feel like with some songs, 
it becomes forced after a while like especially mm. when you're in an environment with certain people that don't really get the vision as you or like they not necessarily don't get the vision but have their own like per- perception of what they feel like the song should be mm. instead of just vibing and actually letting the words come to them like it's it's more organic that way nah for sure yeah so yeah i, I fuck with the that. beat the beat will tell you what to say yeah for sure every time like, for sure don't even the beat will the beat will speak to you if you got it so who has the best chemistry in the studio do you feel like it's it's Iceberg Wavy. Do you feel like it's L.A. Kenzie, Beast Boy Slime? Because you uh, you have like a select list of people that you collab with, but yeah. like your collabs, they kind of go in rotation. That's true. Yeah, I, I do keep I it that. like in my circle. You know, if it's not like, shout out my boy Mario, shout out my brother Daph, shout out Iceberg, Beast Boy, Kenzie. Those are really like the people that I listen to. So I like to like make music with them mostly, but. I don't know. I think if I was to say one person that like we could really lock in and just make like music like back to back, it would probably be my brother Daff, Saint. Shout him out. Shout out him, bro. We got like forty plus songs in the vault. Yeah, like I, I really I don't 40 even know. Forty plus? plus forty plus is ready to be released. Like we just got some fuck around shits too, but like what we really fuck? like every time I'm in the city I gotta tap in with my brother Saint, you know, same as this shit. Y'all just in there for hours just like yeah, beat right, after but beat it, after it beat. really don't even take yeah it don't even take us that long bro like what crazy would knock some shit out the shit show but i don't know like I, I like to pride myself with like being able to like collaborate anybody really like you 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 got like a like an example of it like with my previous work but mm-hmm. like in this year i'm gonna definitely show y'all like I, i'm a chameleon really like i can get in like anywhere on the beat like Wherever you stop, like I can pick that shit up anytime. And I know, like I study verses, I study like music. I know how to drop that shit back off right on your hook, mm-hmm. like just work. So, like I was saying, um, do you ever like, or have you ever got a feature or a song back? You probably like hell nah. I I know I'm a like a lyrical chameleon, but like bro, I can't get on this. Some shit like trash. that. You know, it's crazy, bro. Like I always keep an open mind, really. Okay. Really, cause I'm like, <laughs> I be get, I I just get high and I feel like I could do anything for real. Like, I'm out the other day. I was just like smoking and watching like wrestling. I was like, damn, I need to hit the gym. I could be a wrestler for real. Like, okay, so high. like if I get in that mode, bro, I'll really hop on anything. But if I was just say like, I don't know. Have uh, you ever told? Actually, okay, like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, nah, bro, this uh, shit is trash. Be honest, Bishop. You in the stool. You yeah, nigga yeah, yeah, that yeah. shit. You like every okay. You, you always gonna have artistic differences. Okay, and, and like sometimes on some things, but like if the beat talk to me, bro. Like yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. You can even, I you can, we could you could be speaking a different language. Like mm. you know what I'm saying. I can see you working with like a nigga from oh, God. yeah, one hundred percent. Like K pop, exactly. Shit. Yeah, you could be like speaking Korean or yeah. German or Russian, like and like. I'll fuck with that shit for sure. Okay, so, I'll fuck with that. i fuck with yeah. that. So, we're going to get into um, a different part of the interview. Ooh. We're going to get into the fashions. Fashion. Because, yes. Oh, Bishop, no. like, Bishop, the last time I seen him, my nigga had on some classic Jeremy Scott's, okay? Uh. And I'm so mad y'all don't get that conversation, but bro, <laughs> but today, he even went crazier. Like, it's a... It's really? A, I'm cozy today. It's a calm crazy, but like, he still got that shit on, like. Yeah, man. If you know, you know. If you like, don't, look at my boy. You don't, bro. I got on my brother's. What inspired the fit today? Shit, my life, man. My brother's Charlotte. Like okay. just uh, recently, shout out Darius for the days in blue jacket. Okay. Uh, Forty-four pages. My brother Richie and uh, two one four fives. So you know, so we just we be rocking out today, bro. I like that. I love that. So if you could describe your style with any one of your songs, what would it be? I'll probably put it my song. I don't even know. It ain't even out right now, bro. Mm. But just know, like, I put this shit on for real. Like, okay. and, and it's just like an organic thing. Like, I don't ever really like. And I know don't, yeah, in you. don't think too. Yeah, don't think too hard about it, man. Like, just just put you, put the shit on. Okay. That's how it Okay. So how would you label your style? Like if you could give it one word or like what avenue would you put it in? 
Damn, I don't even. I, I would probably, I'll probably live in my my fashion sense is more of like. <laughs> Give me like it's three like, artists or three people you can mash together and then artists, just think of bitches. Ah, I don't even know like artists. I just like brands, like specific okay, brands. Like if, you, if you're my, if I know you, and I fuck with your art, bro, like I'll I'll wear that shit for real, mm -hmm. like. There's so many amazing artists out in the city that like I see what they're doing and it's like I resonate with it. So it's just like I can't help but to put it on because it's like I'm a part of that because it's like we like I, I agree with like we're similar people, you know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. feel that. Okay. I think my brands that I, I do wear mostly nowadays in Charlotte would be definitely Days in Blue, okay. Youth Hood okay. and some last disciple for real like those are just like shout out last disciple bro those are my three brands i got some nice pieces over there bro i don't go nowhere without my youth hood bag yeah for real that's just like a staple for bishop yeah man for real i was down in orlando like mm -hmm. just chopping it up at the beach oh not the beach the pool and like there was this old ass lady and she like see my bag and like she was like talking to me about God for like the like thirty minutes. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my goodness, like that's, that's the beauty of like <laughs> just clothing and shit. Sometimes it'll spark a conversation with a person that you wasn't even expecting. Yeah, like, you know? I feel that. Yeah, I, I don't really be talking to people I don't know, so I use my clothes to talk for me. Like I don't want to like mm, I, love I don't want to say like, that shit again. You know, like I, I just my clothes be talking for me. I like that. Like I. You know what type of person I am mm -hmm. because, like, what I got on, it's like, all right, okay, different. Fuck with that. I fuck with that, Bishop. That was that was real deep. I wasn't expecting that to get to where it went. <laughs> <laughs> all right, nah, so we're gonna talk about another single. Uh, Who do you love? Oh man, yeah, man. With uh, Mario Margiela. Mario Margiela, yeah. Man, the video is out now. So if y'all haven't seen the video, please Top go man. run that up on YouTube. It's out now. Like, what was the whole process? Was there like? His creative direction mixed with yours, or it was just another studio session that Bishop just go in and be like miraculous. That one was really going to be on hedonism, okay? But um, I had held it because I I didn't really like it at all. I was like, it's kind of like, you know, it's a little slower. Mm -hmm. You know, I got some slow cuts on on hedonism, and I I just wanted to be short and sweet. But um, December, I think it was like over Christmas, mm -hmm. like uh, before it dropped. Mario was just floating around with the sample and he was playing it for people and he he really had faith in it and he wanted to hop on it too and I, I trust his vision you know for sure he my brother Mario has definitely got like a an eye for this shit so I basically was like yeah man like let's let's do, let's it. do it and we uh had a show had an after party shot the video for it and everything just really came together like beautifully shout out 44 pages as well for directing that shit man okay. like it that was really when I had became 44 um, mm. over that process. So, mm. shout it was out, just uh, natural. You was just like, all right, let's just let's just shoot it right now. Fuck it, everybody's here. Yeah. Let's just catch a ride. That ass, cool. that ass. Cool, cool. Y'all so, watch the video. <laughs> please watch the video of fucking who do you love? Good times, good times. Please man. watch it. So I know you've been out in the city for a little minute now, right? Yeah. So how has the change in your environment environment affected your music, like? right now has it been all positive or negative like positive with the negative like what have you learned since living in charlotte has there been a different cadence or change in anything uh definitely i would say like i always i always try and evolve i try and do different things like i love sounds in, in general like i don't i'm not like i love rap rapping mm -hmm. on beats mm -hmm. but it's like it's not I can't be pigeonholed to hold into one specific sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I really kind of just tapped into sounds that are just more organic to me and my story and just where I've been in life, just in Europe and different states here in, in, uh, in America. So I, I just want to, I want to show you guys like the, the different sound I've got now. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, is it, is it more know. futuristic? Is it more like I would say it's underground. Like, it's type. futuristic, but somehow like nostalgic. You know what I mean? Like it's like okay. I try and make I, I make music that is like hip, like not hip hop, like hip pop. 
you know like it, it's like it's got a poppy atmosphere to it okay. it makes you want to dance it makes you want to like move and do things but like it's when you really listen to it like i'm like, I, I still be going crazy going yeah, off yeah, right I go crazy on these beats so you know in these like uh in the next few months you like, can be your own rap genre oh this i definitely is hip -hop. will i'm yeah hip pop trademark that trademark it for real yeah, we'll do all right, if you could give advice to your younger self as your older self right now, like talking to Little Bishop, what would you tell little him? Little Bishop, man. Little Bishop. How little we this? talking? Like, can I smoke a blunt with a nigga? Is he when like, you first started, when you first like ever wrote a song or, yeah, first ever wrote a song. I was what like would you, seven, what would be dude. The, okay, what would be the first piece of advice that, Big Bishop would give to Big seven year old little Bishop. I really wouldn't even give him no advice, bro. I was doing this thing like I was, you know, what I'm saying like yeah. I would just study verses that I liked, you know, from other artists, and then like everybody has their own journey, you mm -hmm. know. Like at first, when I was a kid, I would like listen to like you know Gucci Mane, Young Jeezy, sure. Lil Wayne, Soulja Boy, but it would be like a lyrical content that I wouldn't be able to relate to because mm -hmm. like. Like I'm a kid, like I, yeah. I can't like slacking substance. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah. I don't really know what he what he's talking about. What, you know what I'm saying? So like I would put my twist on it. Like I would make it about like Pokemon or Hot Wheels or some crazy mm -hmm. shit. Like I would put my twist on it, and then like when I start to like develop my own artistic touch and, and creative eye uh, for sounds, it just like naturally came. You know, because I just been listening to like the music right, I, i've been right. like thinking about how i would do how it myself do this, right. so it's like i would really just like give them some fuel i would just play some music from like now i'd be like shit you listening to lil wayne now like fucking wait till you hear goddamn tony snow wait till you hear <laughs> fucking yeet nigga like wait till you hear highway like we got crazy shit in the future man like and this yeah. shit don't stop so i would really just like let them know like you yeah stay like you this, on that. yeah this is what's connecting you to the universe like mm -hmm. not not any of that other bullshit really okay all right bishop anything else you want to say to the people you got any social medias you want to shout out and let us know what are your upcoming projects because we uh, keep in tune with airport bishop this is your moment right now man i'm splits man i hope i'm not like forgetting nobody bro shout out my brother iceberg shout out mario shout out goddamn uh Kenzie, shout out everybody, bro, for real. Like, shout out Saint. Everybody I mentioned. I'm just here for another year, bro. Y'all gonna see you a bunch of new shit. I done already said what we gonna do. Now it's time to show y'all. Uh, follow me everywhere. Airborne Bishop. I'm the only one. If you see another one, then I think of hate. I'm bad. Yeah, nah, it. yeah, shit. Wait on me. I got uh, Sky World coming through. Yes. I Bef forgot to talk about that. Hold on, hold wait, on. Wait, We're wait, not gonna wait, wrap wait, this. No. We're not going to wrap this without talking about Sky World. Because uh, you're building on this right now. This sorry. is this is your brand. like, But this is your project. So talk, yeah. give us a little synopsis. It don't have to be long. You know, I keep it this. short. I keep it short. Sky World is like, it's heaven, you know? Mm. It's like the the melodic heaven of, of just like achieving like the sound that you want like it's really gonna be my like opus maximus okay. you know like okay your highest form yeah well i mean for now until like i reach the next level but like it's really just like a curated 18 songs or more bro because it, it's it's crazy I'm that like excited. that i just like you ain't even gotta say no more. Yeah. You didn't say no more. Say no more. Sky, say no more. Yeah, yeah, say no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sky World is coming. Sky World up. coming. Please be tuned for that. And on that note, thank you for having my brother Bishop here. Bishop, you got anything else you wanna say? Hey man. Watch out for Sky World. Watch out for uh Charlotte Knights. We coming crazy this year, man. Thank y'all. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming, brother. All right. This has been another rendition of Botox. Until the next episode. Peace.